Okay, this video shows you how to make some basic graphs from <clears throat> data tables. Yeah, let's start with this now. The key thing again is that there's nothing in this line. If there was something in this line, you would have to essentially copy the data point, data table, paste its specialized values, and take that line out. That's one of the horrible things about data tables and that. So if we, this is, I think we did this at the very end of the last video. You press, you can press F11 or alternate F1. I'm just going to make this with the uh, alternate F1. Okay, and this one, it appears that our X scale is our holding period and our Y scale is our multiples, but it didn't show anything on the graph. If you um, deleting this graph. If you wanted to show the multiples on the graph, you could just type something like multiple and then we shade it, control D. Now if you, because there's nothing in this blank line, uh, on these two blank lines, Excel is going to understand that those are part of the, either the legend or the X scale. So let's do that again. Okay, do you see it? So now it says multiple six, seven, or eight. And maybe we could have uh, uh, made this exit. Okay. Uh, so that's that's kind of just working with the titles. If you wanted to uh, do it even more, you could on the holding period uh, delete this and put a holding period for each one, control R, and again, since uh, Excel is somehow going to know that this is the uh, X scale, and we press alternate and F1, and notice how it put the holding period on the X scale, and now you can uh, see what it's doing. Okay, if we wanted to uh, switch the the, uh, the row and the column that just they, they allow you to do that. So this gives you the IRR the five is the exit multiple six, seven, eight is the exit multiple. And it shows you how the IRR goes up. If it goes down, down if it goes up, then it shows you different different uh, holding periods. Perhaps that's a Because we've made our data tables all very nice and flexible, we can uh, kind of show the various graphs right next to each of the different uh, data tables and do it just that quickly. So let's just review. Let's maybe this one has a uh, uh, exit multiple and an entry multiple. So I'm not going to put entry. Here, this is just going to be a review. Control R, exit down here. Uh, control D, select the area, and again, because there's nothing in these blank lines, that's the big trick. That's really the whole purpose of this video. And I just pressed Control Alt instead. I hope I didn't mess anything up. Um, and now we have the effect of the entry and the exit multiples together. Um, so if we have a lower entry, we get a higher, uh, uh, higher entry, we get a lower multiple, but then um, we can see how the exit and the entry affects our uh, analysis. And why can't I uh, move this up? That's the reason I can't, just because I'm incompetent with the mouse, uh, we can make this one uh, smaller, how about six, maybe it's too small, but it's uh, uh, okay, let's just make uh, one more, let's, and again you can make this with F11 or alternate and F1, okay, and let's make 
paragraph for this one. Now, if you would I'll just illustrate the whole business with this with the X axis titles. If you just select this and then simply press oops. What am I doing? Uh, uh, it's not funny. Alternate F1. Here's what it does. It's graphing five, six, seven, eight. It's graphing the X axis. Didn't know that this was supposed to be the X axis. The way we tell it that that's the X axis, we have to put some sort of title on it. Okay, and then we can press this one. Okay. So that that's the, uh, the uh, holding period. Okay. And then just copy this. And again, since there's nothing on this one, it's going to know that both of these are intended to be the x axis. And we, uh, we, we put this here, so we have a holding period of what happens to the uh, Analysis if we have a holding period of five, six, or seven. Okay, and uh, suppose you know, remember this one. What did we have as our uh, exit multiple? We had an exit multiple of nine before exit multiple was seven. I don't know why we had such a high exit multiple. And then we run the wall. Okay, there was a little glitch that I had to uh, fix on that one. But if we change the holding period, and get the, uh, change the exit multiple, I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy this one to here. And then we can change the 8 to 6. And we can look what kind of numbers we, we were able to put up to 12. And down to 2, fine. Good. If you copy this one now to the here, okay, this was the exit multiple, and we just put an equal sign and just go back and get the exit multiple. Okay, if we change this to 6 to 7 to 8, and then we can run them all. And we can see what happened. I think that, that was nine. Let's let's put a much lower one in and run the all. And then the IR goes up because the, the, if we hold it longer. So if we if we're just waiting for an exit multiple, that's kind of a trick. That's this whole J curve business. And the uh, acquisition analysis. Alright, I think that's enough. Time.